Good day, and thanks for finding me on the internet. I'm going to show you how to put some power into your promotional products. Today, what I'm going to do is talk about three things. One, two, three. First of all, I'm going to tell you about two great websites. The first one, terrascott.com. The second one, myimprintrep.com. The first one is specifically about marketing of all different types of things for your business or organization. The second one is about promoting your business or organization specifically with imprinted promotional products, okay? And number two, I partnered with Newton Manufacturing. I guess that has to do with number one. But I'm going to ask you to go to those sites and register for the Navigator. It's at no charge. It's a quarterly catalog of ideas at discounted prices that you can use to purchase items from me to promote your business, but I'm going to show you how to use those items to promote your business in the most proper way. That leads me to number three, which is I'm going to tell you about how to get free reports on how to use imprinted promotional products properly. I know that's a lot of words to talk about right now, and it's kind of a mouthful, but that's what I do. Let's talk about the very, very first one, the two great sites, terrascott.com. Just go to that site. You'll see a lot of things in that particular navigation bar on the side. A lot of good information for you there, specifically www.myimprint.rep or not dot rep, myimprintrep.com, okay? And you're going to see some information about Newton. You're going to see a lot of information about free reports and things that you can get on that site. But I do want you to register for that navigator. And you can do that by going to terrascott.com forward slash navigator. And you see navigator right there. It's got a lot of different things. Again, it's put out by Newton. And... Let's take a look at some of the things that happen to be in this navigator this time. I'm going to show you these are different types of pens that, that you can actually have your imprint on. And again, there's different types of pens, different colors. You can have company, corporate colors, your logo colors match. A lot of people don't put a lot of thought into their pens, but they say that a business card is like a mini billboard. No, not so much. You'll find that out on terrascott.com, but a pen would be more like a billboard because what you want to do with a pen, five to seven words, and just like a billboard, five to seven words. If you stay with that process, that formula, you'll always be successful with your billboards and your pens. Another thing, hats. Now, this is a camouflage hat, very, very popular kind of a hat. You can see embroidery has gotten so inexpensive now that you can actually pay very, very little for a nice hat and imprinted impressions over time. You're getting a lot of your message out there to a larger audience. People love apparel. Also, if you do promotional kind of things as far as talks or if you have people taking tours of your your place or even company business meetings, that sort of thing, a notebook with a pen. You think about everything, don't you? This is Newton's logo, and you can see right here it says, way more than you expected. This is inside of the Navigator, and it's just a little kind of a pouch, not a very expensive thing, but if you're giving out handouts or something like that, it's something that you can certainly use. There are two of them here, more of a designer kind of a look. They're probably number two next to a pen. Mugs get used all the time. They're going to be in the home, in the office, over and over and over again. If somebody takes a tour of your office, somebody gets a business interview, then why not? I mean, what if they don't get the job? They're coming in, they're interviewing for your business. Give them a mug anyway. You don't have to wash the mug then when they leave. Okay, if you live in the northern states, these are pretty cool to have. This is by um, Bank. And by the way, I want to tell you something. I'm not endorsing any of these particular businesses. These are just called random samples. These are random imprints. But note, usually banks and credit unions have to have that little FDIC logo on it and all of that. Are you seeing the fact that I'm a little excited about these things because I've been doing this for over 25 years, 
having a lot of fun with it. And talking about bags, look at this. It's a nice foil imprinted bag. You can kind of see that there. It's by the Noteworthy line. I work with all of the lines. This is a company out of New York, but they ship all over the place. Really some good work. Look at this. This is a beautiful foil bag. Not that expensive, but what could you do with this? Maybe during the month of December or maybe a grand opening month, use a bag like this versus a different kind of a bag. Have people come back in with that particular bag and maybe they get five cents off another order or something. Or maybe they give this bag to a friend. The friend brings the bag in and you make another sale. You have to think about distribution plans for these things. This is a good reflection on you. What have they got here? Well, they've got a logo here. Now, this is something that you can use, obviously, in your business. But when you're going to a trade show, yeah, give them out. Who cares if other places are giving them out? Your distribution plan is a little bit different. Get people to your booth by giving these out. Other people will see them. If your target market eats, if they're in the kitchen, this is pretty cool. Can you see that there? A little imprint. And this is a little spatula kind of a thing. Not very expensive at all, but give this out to somebody that obviously has a kitchen or whatever. The health market is very, very big today. We are baby boomers and getting younger all the time. But look at this. Here's a cool imprint. This is the hometown something or other. And they've got their, their phone number on this. I was talking about somebody the other to somebody the other day, and I said, you know what? If you want people to come to your website, what do you do? You get an imprint, a promotional imprinted product like this, and you put your name, you put your phone number, you put your address, you put everything on there, and then finally your website? No. What you do is, if you want people to come to your website, what do you put on a pen? Your web address and nothing else. Or your web address, and your name. Okay, think about these things. If you've got your web address and your phone number and your name, what are they going to do? They're going to call you first. Do you want to contact people via the phone or via the website? This is, oh, it's face paint. Can you believe it? Right now, face paint. Pretty amazing. I thought that was maybe lipstick or one of these these kind of lip things here, lip gloss, gloss things. And what else have I got? I got one more thing. All right, this is pretty cool. This is like a multi-tool. Now, you don't have to be a, a Boy Scout to understand this, but this is pretty cool. Look at this. You've got a carabiner, kind of a pop bottle opener or a beer bottle opener. You've got a little kind of a knife thing here. And what's this? But there you go. That should be a light now. There you are. Oh, my goodness. Ah! Okay. So anyway, cool light. And when you close it like that, well, sometimes they go off. You know, that's a little gift that somebody's going to keep in their glove compartment, maybe their purse or something. Here it is. It's the bottle opener carabiner with flashlight and knife. Well, hey, I guess we knew that. And if you have questions about anything, email me, call me, whatever. All of the information is up on the website. So that's it for today. So go ahead, go to the websites, one or the other, and go ahead and, and register for that navigator.